Welcome to this educational video on animal and plant tissues. In this video, we'll break down the different types of tissues in animals and plants, their structures, and how they work together to keep organisms functioning. What are tissues? Tissues are groups of similar cells that are adapted to perform specific functions through a process called cell differentiation. In animals, there are various types of tissues, including epithelial tissue, connective tissue, muscle tissue, and nerve tissue. Let's first look at the different types of epithelial tissues, their structure, and their functions. A. Squamous epithelial tissue. First, we have squamous epithelial tissue, found lining the inner walls of blood vessels, such as arteries and veins, the heart, the air sacs in the lungs, alveoli, the mouth, and the esophagus. Structurally, Squamous tissue consists of a single layer of thin, flat cells. The thin, flat cells allow gases, such as oxygen and carbon dioxide, and liquids to pass through easily. This makes it ideal for areas like the alveoli in the lungs, where gas exchange occurs. Each cell has a nucleus that is also flattened and oval-shaped, fitting well within the cell's thin structure. Functions of squamous tissue 1. Protection Squamous epithelium acts as a protective layer that shields the tissues beneath it from physical damage or pathogens. 2. Permeability Because the cells are so thin, they allow gases, such as oxygen and carbon dioxide, and liquids to pass through easily. This is particularly important in places like the lungs, where rapid gas exchange is necessary for breathing. 3. Friction reduction the smooth surface of squamous cells reduces friction, allowing substances like blood to flow smoothly through vessels and reducing wear and tear in places like the heart and esophagus where movement is frequent. B. Columnar epithelium. This type of epithelial tissue lines the alimentary canal, the digestive tract, including organs like the stomach and small intestine. Structure of columnar epithelium. Columnar epithelium is made up of tall, column-like cells that are arranged in a single layer. The nuclei of these cells are typically located near the base of the cell, giving them an organized appearance. Scattered between the columnar cells are goblet cells, which secrete mucus to lubricate the digestive tract. Functions of columnar epithelium 1. Absorption The main function of columnar epithelium is to absorb nutrients, water, and minerals from the food as it moves through the digestive system. This absorption occurs primarily in the small intestine. 2. Mucus secretion. Goblet cells play a critical role by producing mucus. The mucus coats the inner surface of the stomach and intestines, protecting the lining from digestive acids and enzymes, and helping food move smoothly through the digestive tract. 3. Support. These tall cells help maintain the structure and function of the digestive system, ensuring that the process of digestion and absorption is efficient. C. Ciliate epithelium. Ciliate epithelium is found lining the nasal cavities, trachea, and bronchi in the lungs, which are all parts of the respiratory system. Structure of ciliate epithelium. Ciliate epithelium consists of columnar epithelial cells that have tiny, hair-like projections called cilia on their surface. Goblet cells, which produce mucus, are also found between the ciliate cells. Functions of ciliate epithelium 1. Mucus secretion and filtration The goblet cells secrete a layer of sticky mucus that traps dust, dirt, and microorganisms, preventing them from entering deeper into the lungs. 2. Cilia movement The cilia move rhythmically in a coordinated, wave-like motion. This movement pushes the mucus, along with the trapped particles, up and out of the respiratory tract. This helps keep the airways clear and prevents infections by removing harmful substances before they reach the lungs. 3. Respiratory protection. In essence, ciliate epithelium acts as the body's natural filter, keeping the respiratory system free from debris and pathogens. D. Cuboidal epithelium. Cuboidal epithelium is found lining various glands in the body, such as sweat glands, salivary glands, and glands that produce substances like milk. It's also present in parts of the kidneys that deal with secretion and absorption. 
Structure of cuboidal epithelium. This type of epithelium is composed of cube-shaped cells, hence the name cuboidal. Each cell has a centrally located, round nucleus. The cells are usually arranged in a single layer, providing a simple and effective structure for secretion. Functions of cuboidal epithelium. Secretion, cuboidal epithelium is specialized for producing and secreting various substances. For example, sweat glands secrete sweat to help regulate body temperature, while salivary glands produce saliva to assist in digestion and keep the mouth moist. Excretion and absorption, in the kidneys, cuboidal cells are involved in filtering waste products from the blood and reabsorbing important substances like water and nutrients. Variety of secretions, different types of glands produce different secretions, including milk, sweat, saliva, and digestive enzymes. Each secretion serves a vital role, from nourishing infants, milk, to regulating body temperature, sweat. Connection